Attorney General Elizabeth Barrett Anderson will be representing Gov Guam and the Chamorro Land Trust Commission in the lawsuit filed by the U.S. Department of Justice that alleges the Chamorro Land Trust violates the Fair Housing Act. Today, the AG spoke to PNC about the case and the chances Guam has at winning. Do you think Guam has a good case? Yeah, that, that's a hard question to say, a, a, a good case, you know, legally a good case. Do we have a sound legal argument? Maybe if I can answer it that way. I, yes, I believe we can make a sound legal argument. And that legal argument is related to arguments used to preserve Native American land. That was part of the argument 26 years ago. Uh, and 26 years ago, that discussion of the Indian tribes and the recognition by Congress to preserve Indian tribes by enacting laws that discriminate, such as you cannot fish or hunt in tribal lands. Those arguments started to be developed 26 years ago, and they are so well developed today. And so those are some of the arguments that we will put forth in this concept of the Chamorro people, the Chamorro culture needs to be preserved. But Attorney General Elizabeth Baird Anderson admits it won't be easy. It is an uphill battle, Clint, uh, and, and, I, and I understand that. Um, but we can't just stop here. The Attorney General says she has the experience for the job. 26 years ago, as the appointed Attorney General under Governor Joseph Atta, she actually fought against the Chamorro Land Trust, saying it was discriminatory and unconstitutional. But she lost, and Speaker B.J. Cruz, who was a judge at the time, ruled that the Chamorro Land Trust Act was constitutional and was valid. She accepted the decision, and then as a senator in the mid-90s, she actually helped to place lands into the trust in order to get the trust started. Now she is defending the Chamorro Land Trust as Guam's elected attorney general. So I've come full Robin, and now I'm at a position of defense of the act. So challenge of the act, implementation of the act, and now defense of the act. Clint, what I'm going to try to do in this lawsuit is defend this law, which has been held valid under Guam law, and to make the record in the district court against um, the federal government's uh, uh, arguments and take that record if we are not successful there, take it up to the Ninth Circuit and make that record in the Ninth Circuit. And if we are not successful in the Ninth Circuit, then to take that record onto the Supreme Court of the United States. Guam's response to the suit is due on the 19th, which is Thursday of next week.